we have trapped them inside us rock. As I'm speaking, be writing it down on a piece of paper so you can do your research later on. Right now, they are like caged animals within a zoo in Asorok. They are caged completely. What they have done with Osiba Joe, I have no idea. It is for the Yorubas to rise up and ask for their son. The same way their friends rose and asked for me when I was kidnapped, when I was abducted by the forces of the zoo. I don't know what is wrong with some people when you say, go and find Osibanjo, they take offense. I don't know why, but this evening, we will tell you what Osibanjo's disappearance portends for the collapse of the zoo. Because we have trapped them in Asorok. And as I go, I will mention the time so you understand it. The time now is precisely half past 7 p.m. in the land of Biafra. Half past 7 p.m. in the evening in the land of Biafra. If you check your time now, it's exactly the same number of minutes. Every clock in the world right now, it is at half past. That's how you know we are live and we are direct. And that mankind is listening. Humanity is paying us homage today. We have trapped them inside us rock, the diseased remnant few of the cabal. They are trapped inside that rock, holding Osibaja hostage, hostage, live hostage. If he survived the COVID-19 attack, I have no idea, but they infected him. If he's alive, I do not know. But what I'm telling you this evening is pure gospel, that Nigeria has collapsed because there is no government, none whatsoever. What you have are ganja weed with AK-47 all over the place, a military uniform, Army, police, um, customs, um, uh, what they called again, uh, civil defense. There is no more Nigeria. Nigeria is gone. Piece by piece, this evening, we decimate the zoo. Complete. Just anytime I ask for your banjo, what are they going to tell you? The same response, the same thing they did when Buhari died. The same thing they did anytime they go missing. The same line, Photoshop after Photoshop, edited video after edited video. Then the same line of explanation. Where is he? They always tell you that in accordance with the guidelines of um, NCDC, he has been observing social distancing, thereby limiting physical engagements, he has been working from his office, using teleconferencing to continue his official duties. He is working as the chairman of the Economic and Sustainability Committee, a committee so that every time you ask them, where is Osiba Job? This is the answer you get. In the middle of a pandemic, now you have a vi Listen, I... Oh, just common sense. Only simple, tiny common Listen very carefully. The elected vice president of the country is heading an economic, a subgroup, economic and sustainability committee, whereas somebody who is an ordinary government appointee, a political appointee with no constitutionally recognized shelf life, he has no tenure, no life, can be sacked tomorrow morning, is the one leading the government's response in the midst of the worst crisis that can ever affect any country apart from war. This is even worse. Because in war, you see your enemies. Here, you don't see anybody. I want you to reason very carefully. The person you claim you voted for as your vice president, who should be deputizing in the absence of the president, which is quite obvious, isn't it? is now heading a subcommittee, listen carefully, that reports to a man who was appointed only a few months ago. Now you understand it? Do you see that the zoo has fallen? That there is no president, no vice president, not even ordinary chief of staff. They have none. They cannot replace Abakiari. Because there are three camps in Asarok. Aisha Buhari's camp. This camp that are loyal to Mama and Daura. 
and they camp the remnants of those, the cabal that Abakia rebuilt. They know they are in trouble. That is why they are all fleeing. That is why they are all running, all of them. Asorok is empty. And this evening, I can tell you categorically that the person running Nigeria as at this moment, if you know anybody that has access to Asorok, you ask them. The person running Nigeria right now and dishing out contracts is Aisha Buhari. This very night, this very minute. Because there is no president. Buhari is dead in Saudi Arabia in a grave. Oshiba Joe is out of the picture. Completely taken out of the picture. There is nobody you voted for to run Nigeria that is there. Absolutely none. There is nobody there. It is the illegitimate first lady. Illegitimate. Because her tenure ends when her husband died. That was the end of Aisha Buhari's tenure as first lady. Mrs. Oshi Oshibajo should be the first lady. Oshibajo should be the president of Nigeria. But due to a combination of fear and cowardice, fear and cowardice, treachery, some people are not able to rise up and demand to see what the constitution say must happen, happen. Listen very carefully. The person who is in charge of Nigeria as at this moment, this very second, with the time now at, what is the time? Approximately 24 minutes to 8, is Aisha Buhari. Aisha Buhari is the Nigerian president now. That is why they have not appointed any replacement chief of staff. Are you following? Why should it take so long? That's why I asked you to bring your pen and your paper. Write it down. Common sense. When you go back, you reflect and you ponder. You reflect and you ponder. You understand what they're doing with you. You will understand the game and the tricks they're playing with you. And why you have allowed them to get away with it for a very long time. It is your fault. You that call yourselves Nigerians, it is your fault that you're in a mess. It is your fault that you're getting an imagery distributed all over the place. It is your fault. Your fault. That a woman who shouldn't be in Asorok is there now as your president. Aisha Buhari. She is the one now in charge. You are in a country where people cannot muster the courage to say, I want to see the vice president that I voted for. I want to see, to see and hear the president address me live. But with the advent of new technology, just having somebody making a live broadcast is no longer enough. Because this evening, I'm going to show you and tell you all the tricks they play. We need the truth. We need people to come out and to confess their sins before they start going to prison in handcuffs, one after the other. I know the family won't arrest their own. Of course, we know that very well. We know they won't. But they are going to jail. What Aisha Buhari is doing now is a worse treason, worse treason than her, her husband. What Buhari did in 1983 by overthrowing Shagari. This is high crimes and misdemeanor. What Aisha is doing is a hanging offense. In any civilized country, it's a hanging offense. Nobody voted for her. Before her, nobody voted for Abak Yari. Nobody did. But due to your cowardice and your docility, your gossipy nature, your gossipy, always, almost comical existence, that is what was why None of these things we are taking seriously. And today you're suffering the consequences. You are the laughing stock of the world. Now, do you understand why all the foreign companies, sorry, foreign countries, and, and of course companies, took away all their nationals? That time that plane was coming and taking people away, we kept wondering, but why are they taking people? What have they seen that we have not seen? Now, have you seen what they have seen? They knew everything. 
as soon as the cabal decided to render Osibancho impotent, you know what they did? Country started airlifting their people out of the zoo because they know there is going to be a breakdown of law and order. There is going to be chaos in Nigeria. They know there is no government. That was why they airlifted their people out. Go and ask anywhere in the world if people airlifted 90% of the diplomats out of the territories they're in. The answer is no. Now are you following? Now are you following? My question this evening is this. Why is it that you have Yoruba constitutional lawyers? People that say they are sophisticated. People that say they went to school. They fail to understand one thing, that a law on a piece of paper, a constitution is only words written on a piece of paper. For it to have any relevance or any bite, so to speak, it must be enforceable. What you're saying in effect is that the Nigerian constitution does not recognize Osibajo as the vice president of Nigeria. That is why Boss Mustafa, who is a political appointee, is the one running the government's response to COVID-19. Whereas the person you elected to do that very job, Osibajo, they are, they are holding him hostage. Now you understand why the zoo has fallen. Not that the zoo will fall. It has already fallen. There is no... Now, imagine what is going to happen when all these things comes out in the open. Have you asked yourselves the chaos that is going to ensue when all these things are laid bare in the open? Have you ever for one moment sat down to consider the calamitous consequences of what Aisha Buhari is doing? And the rest of the North. Have you asked yourself that? No, you have not. Now you know why countries and governments of the world evacuated their people. You must know why they evacuated their people. Now you understand it, don't you? Now you understand it, don't you? I have to take a sip of water because this is a live presentation, not like the zoo. Photoshop, video shop, everything is fake. Tonight, we render them asunder. Tonight, I'm proving to you that Nigeria no longer exists. What you're doing, you're just merely existing in a British-defined geopolitical space. As a country, Nigeria has ceased to exist. That's what I'm trying to prove to you tonight. The person, can you imagine the irony? The person you voted for to do a particular job has been kidnapped. If you ask them, they show you a video. The world has advanced. People can do anything with, as I will demonstrate to you tonight, people can do whatever they like with videos these days and pictures. It's irrelevant. People want to see, feel, and touch Usibajo because you people are liars. That was why you brought in the Chinese, as I knew. That's why they came. Not just for to test vaccine on us. Not just because of all the assets they are stripping and taking back to China. You brought them in to bring the new generation of deep fake videos and photoshopping techniques. And but as I said, we have everything. We have everything. So you're wasting your time. The sooner you come clean, the better. The sooner Aisha Buhari comes out to hand herself over to whoever that will put chains on her wrists. Handcuffs, the better for them. They are all, you see what coronavirus is doing? They, they are all going to fall. They better go and start committing suicide. Because no matter how stupid and how hopeless zoo people are, those used tissue paper, Nigerians, they will not forgive them for this. They will never ever forgive them for this. They have now gotten into a lot of trouble, haven't they? There is something I don't quite understand about my Yoruba brothers. 
I don't understand this thing about my Yoruba brothers. I don't understand it. Is it that you hate your own son? Or you are afraid of asking the Fulani to produce your son for you? I'm just asking because, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know where the brain of Nigeria. And I can't see the brain of but Where are your, your thinking faculties? Where are they? Nigerians, where are your thinking faculties? I'm asking you. I know that friends can reason. I know that very well. I am asking Nigerians, where are your thinking faculties? Can you reason at all? Now, listen. This is a, a, a very important news being carried by Tinubu's newspaper, The Nation. In a country that practices democracy, where they claim the president is alive, we are the claim the vice is alive. Of course, we know that contrary is the case. Look at the headline. Aso Villa. And they are saying it with pride. These are people that claim they are educated. These are people that claim they are enlightened. These are people that claim sophistication. These are people that claim to be enlightened. These are people that claim they are elite. I want to read the headline for you. I don't even know if people actually read these things and digest. I don't, I don't know if people just read and do they actually assimilate and digest what they're reading. Aso Villa is the headline. A new force tries to dismantle the cabal. A new force is now posi positioning themselves inside as a rock to take over from the cabal of Abakiyad. Can you, whereas you have a vice president? Hey, Arwe, man. Hey, democracy. Democracy in Nigeria. Unbelievable. Un, 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 can you, let, I want to read it for you. They said a fresh power play is covertly in place in the presidential villa with a new force trying to dismantle the hitherto powerful cell, otherwise called the cabal. Since the illness and eventual death of the late chief of staff, Malama Bakiari, it has been difficult for some members of the cabal. Are you people following? Are you listening? The chief of staff died, so they led us to believe. Abakiari. And upon his death, there is a new power tussle inside us rock. Not that the president died, no. They claim he's alive somewhere. Ordinary chief of staff died. And they say there is a power tussle. That the cabal has been weakened. Can you believe such garbage coming from a national newspaper? People read these things. They, hey, hey, God in heaven. Hey, I want to read for you, please. So people can understand the man. I want to let you know that from the news coming from your own Nigeria, I want to use the same news to prove to you that you have no government. I want to use the same news to prove to you that your country doesn't exist. You only exist on paper, maybe on tissue paper, or a used one for that matter. I don't know. Besides the read, I'm reading from Nation newspaper. Besides the redeployment of the permanent secretary of the state house, Mr. Jalal Arabi, the access accreditation tag of the prominent member and name withheld was withdrawn to enable the power broker apply as a visitor all these things are happening hey. come here all these things imagine now for instance the chief of staff to trump dies and you hear maybe washington post or wall street journal say there is a new power tussle inside the white house that inside that that, that because of that power tussle going on that somebody who was a very close ally of donald trump we will now have to go and apply as a visitor to come to White House because Donald, listen, listen to this. Because Donald Trump's chief of staff is now dead. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to anybody? Does that make sense to anybody? I'm asking you. Those who are who 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 can reason what what is happening in does that make sense to an ordinary average person? That is Nigeria for you. They said that listen, oh, this is Tinubu's paper. A new force is emerging, and everyone is being careful 
to avoid belonging to a wrong camp, as I told you, that is a power tussle. That is why they have not appointed a new chief of staff. Did I not tell you that? Have you seen it? Justified, proven, that we are always right. Always right. What they are saying is that Aisha Buhari is on a revenge mission. She was kicked out of her quarters, humiliated the daughter of Abba Kiyari, locked Aisha Buhari's room, and said she wouldn't go in. Now is revenge. All those people that worked with Abba Kiyari, now Aisha is denying them access to the villa, to Asorok. Are you following? This is a country that elected a president and a vice. And in all this nonsense, you're asking yourself, which of the cabal belongs to the vice president? At least he's, a, he's the deputy, isn't it? None. Where is he? Let's forget that. Where is the vice president? You can't find him. But where is he? Oh, no. He is heading economic uh, uh, reconstruction committee. Do you see what they're doing to your brain? And uh, what? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I can't understand this people. I don't understand. Are you following? There are now camps. This one wants their own person to be the de facto president. This one, that, because of that, Aisha Buhari is now in charge. And there is nobody, I repeat, there is nobody in charge of the zoo. The zoo has collapsed. The zoo is gone. Are you following? Are all of you following what is happening? In the damnable zoological republic. If there is a vice president, uh, that, shouldn't he automatically inherit the presidency? Even if you claim, albeit falsely, that Buhari is there but he can no longer perform, is it not the job of the vice president to assume leadership in the absence or incapacitation of the president as constitutionally mandated. Why all this cabal business? Why do you have cabal when you have the VP? Why cabal when you have the president? And I keep asking all those that know the old Buhari, if you at all you knew him, do you think he's a man that will sit around and cabals will be running all over the place, running his administration? The answer is no. He will not allow that to happen. People that know him should vote. The reason why I don't hate anybody, I don't hate any group, I am not an ethnic bigot, but what I'm saying is, why is it that our learned people, the senior advocates from Yoruba land, why are they quiet? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Because I know that if um, had follow me or fellow been alive, this nonsense will be happening. They will grant international press conference and they will spill everything out. That's what I'm asking. So Nigerians are now living in a climate of hypocrisy and deceit. Not just from Asorok, but from those you expect to know better. If you have a president and a vice, why do you have cabals running all over the place according to a national newspaper? Tinubu's paper. Why and the people say it as if it is just fun? <laughs> it does our cabal we went today, they didn't let us in. Their own cabal is stronger today. Uh, uh, ma, ma, Madame is the one in charge now. Their own cabal is strong. Can you imagine such rubbish? And you're wasting. No wonder there is no coordination in anything. No wonder there are lies everywhere. No wonder nobody can be paid. No wonder you have bandits and terrorists all over the place. No wonder everything is disjointed. Because there is no cohesion. There is no leadership. There is no direction. There is no purpose. Or even sense of purpose. All are missing. Why? Because they lied to themselves. They deceived all of you. They used fake videos and fake photos to be deceiving you since 2017. 
And people are thinking to themselves, my Yoruba brothers are thinking, oh, maybe because you want, you're looking for Biafra. If you are looking for Nigeria, we would have supported you. What you're saying is the truth. But we can't support you because you want to break Nigeria. If you break Nigeria now, we will be left alone with only the full army, And one day they will just come and pick us up one after the other. That's their fear. But I'm saying we are here. We can't allow Fulani to invade Yoruba land. It's not going to happen. But you must stand on the side of the truth. Always. That's what we are saying. We used to have our own portion of the Fulefus. You have them in Biafra land all over the place. But we have not allowed them to, to come up because they are evil and we know them. That is a position that our brethren in the West must aspire to. I want all of us to be free. I want everybody to be free. Middle Belt, the West, the East. There's everywhere to be free. Then people can decide what they wish to do with their lives. What is happening now in the zoo is a travesty. It is a shame. It is a disgrace. You have no government. Absolutely none. Every day they bring out an ordinary secretary to the government. Not even the Senate president. Not even the House Speaker. And all of you are quiet. You're keeping very quiet. I see nothing is normal. But of course it's not. And you are the laughing stock. Aisha is now firmly in charge. But I know that some shameless, sacrifantic women will go there, even if, as the other before Tinubu asking for governorship of Enugu State and asking to be made the vice president of the zoo. I'm sure some of them will even run shamelessly to go and kneel before Aisha and be begging for contract. Uh, usually when they go, they go with the CVs of their children to say, oh, can you make my son or my daughter something or give them an appointment somewhere. As I said, from their mistakes, we shall judge them. From their mistakes, we shall judge them. And that's what we are doing. We, I asked many, many weeks ago, I asked and I kept asking, as I also posted this very, a little earlier, before we came live on air. I asked, I posted, and I said, where is Yoshibajo? We started this very quest to find him. And yesterday night, their presidency, uh, not presidential, what they have is presidency. Very soon you will have vice presidency. It is a joke. An absolute and complete joke. Now I want you to understand this. Presidency is now telling people to ignore what the Khan is saying. Ignore everybody asking after a fellow human being. We are asking out of concern. We care, I've told you before, that Osiba is a gentleman, and I like him. I've said it. I have not hidden my admiration for Yemi Osiba. I've not hidden it. He's a gentleman. I've said it many times. I am within my right. It's just like filing a habeas corpus in a court to ask to compel all the authorities or whoever to produce the body of somebody that they're holding. That's what we're doing. Asking you to produce Osiba. They have not looked at a whole government of the most populous country in the world. The government of over 200 million people, so they claim. I want to read out their response to a legitimate question, concern and search for their own vice president. He is not the Biafran vice president. He is the Nigerian vice. We are asking them. We are helping them to find their own. Isn't it very ironic? Biafrans, uh, uh, pulling Nigerians to, to help find their own vice president. Isn't it very ironic? Presidency responded. Ignore the claims of those. What claim are we making? We said bring out the man. You're saying we're making. We don't make any claims. Bring him out. They can't bring him. Instead, they said, forget it. A whole vice president in the middle of a pandemic. All they can say is ignore those asking after a vice unbelievable let me read it for you the presidency mind you not the president not the, the presidency this is the first time in my life i am hearing about presidency running a country in all my life i know that you're either a president to a prime minister a premier a vice chancellor a chancellor running a country 
I have never heard of the chancery. Because where you have a chancellor as head of state, the next thing that the, 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 the sub-departments under is called the chancery. I have never heard of the chancery of Germany. Or the premier, the, the, the prime minister's office in, 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 in London. Or the presidency of Donald Trump. All I hear is President Trump. Hey, all I hear is the president of the, or President Macron. Have you heard of the French presidency before? Have you? I am asking all those who said the senior advocates of Nigeria, Grand Commander of the Nigerian uh, Order, uh, Order of the Niger, uh, O-N-E, -O O-N-O, uh, even those in Oboli, I'm asking all of you. Have you ever heard of the presidency of South Africa? Have you ever heard of the presidency of Ghana? Or the presidency of Tanzania? Or the presidency of Kenya? Or presidency of Mozambique? Have you in your lives before? Now, why are you answering the presidency in Nigeria? The reason why you're answering the presidency is because there is no president. Presidency is a group of people, a cabal, a group of people. And it was introduced under Abakiari. <clears throat> I want all of you to go back to 2015 and 2016. It's an assignment. Write it down on a piece of paper. Go back to 2013, 2014. 2015. Go back from Obasanjo's time. Go through every statement issued, every publication issued, and count how many times under Obasanjo, under Yeradua, under Jonathan, that the word presidency was used to describe the Nigerian um, president. Go and ask. Go and, go and check. This fashion of presidency only came in with these people. It came with them. The presidency on Saturday asked Nigerians to ignore claims on the whereabouts of President Muhammad Buhari and the vice. So the president, hey, she came here. So, oh God. Instead of bringing them out to come and do a live interview to say we are live, as Obasanjo did, when Obasanjo famously said, I did can't be. Have you all forgotten? Or Basanjo said I did can't we? To make you understand is him. Now in the case hey, in the case of Nigeria with Buhari dead and Osibanjo kidnapped missing. They are issuing a statement and they said anybody asking you about Buhari and Osibanjo, ignore them. Ignore them. That's what they said. Ignore them. Is that how to run a country? If Buhari were to be alive, will you ask people to ignore those asking for him? He will come out and he will speak for himself. Why are you asking people to ignore us? Because you know we are speaking the truth. You, you know that all of you are in trouble. Aisha Buhari knows that she is in trouble. All of you, you know, don't you? You know you're in a mess. You know you're all going to prison. All of you are going to jail. No country will accept you. What you have done is unpardonable. Aisha Buhari and all those who are in Asorok now, failure, your failure to tell the world, to speak the truth, that a democratically elected president is there is a coup against the people that's what you've done Aisha Buhari what you have done is a coup against the people your husband when he was alive did a coup against a government what you have done is a coup against the people 